how he looks at statue. He's very snappy, he's very quick, and I think that they've been steadily improving. But just to put it, to flip that a bit, Sprout's an interesting story because they're basically the Pentacor, which absolutely yes, were in the 16 in the I, actual major last I'm time. I'm just not sure. Dennis's little pre-interview there didn't really inspire me too much. It seemed like, well, I'm the in-game leader. That seems to be working okay. Um, we're still we're still working things out. It doesn't really feel like they're ready for a major just yet. Like we said, very new project, only been around for about a month or so. They have got experienced players. That's one thing they have got on their side is experience. Like the guys sat on the desk. We've got Crystal there. We've got Zen from Finland. We've got Innocent from Poland. There's lots of experienced players that have been around the block, and I'm sure they can get this game in a positive manner. Getting it all, I think when the pistol head, there is definitely a chance, but it's going to feel like pound for pound they can step up to the likes of Space Soldiers here. As you can see, we will be playing Cobblestone, and we'll get into it. It'll be the seaside Star Force. Space Soldiers here, they're going to have Glocks and they've got one smoke, a couple of flashbangs to work with here. And we'll see whether the engine smoke will be used to good effect as they head towards the B-bomb site here. It looks like maybe an A split coming through as a couple of players head towards middle as well. There's Major at the very front of the pack. Speedy with the diffuse kit, the flashbang available. And we'll see whether Innocent can open things up here as he tentatively looks towards the other platform here, trying to find the first shot. Engine will be coming in with the smoke, presumably throwing that towards the B-bomb site. Flashbangs to be delivered and Major to strike first. Lovely headshot there. That's going to crack over the B-bomb site. Not a bad way to start the Major for Major. That's true. He walks work. out. Yeah, thank you. That's almost as good as Smix at the end of our interview. Yeah. We'll see if this does turn into a decent round. It looks like a little three versus one. Just Crystal remaining, and he's trying to get onto the flank. A little bit slow getting there, meaning that they've already cleared the site. They've already planted the bomb, and his element of surprise or having their backs turned is pretty much gone. In fact, already spotted him. Contact made. He's got an armor. And he could try and deny or gain some frag money. We'll see what the decision will be. Tag to six. Looks like it'll be more of a passive approach. Now, Matt, we've got to cast more than most people as space soldiers. They've sure. got a lot of majors, right? Uh, majors, I mean minors. And the qualifiers, we've always seen them at those sort of events. There's Kallax on your screen right there, one of the star players of space soldiers. Look out for him and Zantera. They're going to be a, quite the tag team duo, I think. Um, but yeah, it feels like they've always been talked about. There's always a lot of storylines behind them, but we've never really seen them kind of relish the opportunity. I think the, the biggest upset they've caused would be SK Gaming, uh, maybe la early last year, was it the opening game? I think at a Dream Mac Mal Malmo. Malmo, that's right. Yeah. They've been in the opening game. They didn't get out of the group, but they definitely caused an upset there, and that was like, that set the tone for the tournament, right? Wow, they could be dangerous. One of the excuses that they commonly referred to is that the fact that they were playing in Turkey had bad routing to the European servers, and te sure. technically playing in Turkey the divide is the, the river that goes through Istanbul. So they could have actually played in the Asian Miners. They elected to play in the European ones. Really? And I, I don't, I think that's how that would have worked. I think that would have been a choice on their part. Maybe Val specified, but technically speaking, Turkey is in both continents. Yep. That said, they always said that their routing was an issue. Even when they boot camped in, in Europe or stayed in Europe in certain situations, it didn't go that well. So it has been a little bit of a, of a shock that it hasn't, I guess, developed into what we're seeing now from them a little bit sooner. You're right, we see them all the time at the Miners. Absolutely. Well, this should be quite a walk in the park. I mean, it is a force buy from Sprouts Esports, the newly established organization there. Speedy's gone down first. He is obviously a bit of a household name in Counter-Strike from his tenure in Mouse Sports, joined by Dennis, of course, who's in the same team. And that's going to be tied things up. It's going to be innocent fun in there. A little frag there with the Desert Eagle. Zantares caught his pants down there, Matt, as you would say. AK by himself with the upper platform and no refrag potential. But look for him to do that. The fact that Sprout's going to play aggressively on those stairs potentially shuts him down because I, I mentioned in the pregame, he loves to walk out Olaf-esque, fanatic yes, style sure. Olaf. He loves to walk out and make straight contact on that position. So if they play aggressive, that certainly means, yeah, you got to either have the refrag potential, like you say, or have at least some utility to get him the position. Yeah, looks to tank that nade down to 52. This is looking a little bit ropey, I have to say. 20 seconds remaining. They will fully commit towards the A bomb side now, but I feel like Sprout can do this one. The positions they have right now, they've got them pincered in. It's looking a little bit uncomfortable here as Dennis finds the second frag, and they actually take the lead here. Time ticking away. Hemorrhaging HP at the same time. I think the bomb has been planted now. Yes, indeed it has. And that should secure the round for Space Soldiers here. I say should with bated breath as Dennis comes from the stable area. They can find a decent shot here just like that with that CZ-75. He starts to pick them apart and they have the man advantage once again. Good shot back from Dennis. Kallax down. It's all on the major. He's the late move to try and come through middle. He's picked up a kill on the way there. Not toward long. Now he's got to get aggressive. He's got to put pressure on them and it's not going to be enough. CZ holds him off. Fuse already taking place. 
No yeah. kit, but the lots of time. Innocent was on it. That's why they held him so aggressively. Got to convert those rounds. And Zantares, he's going to be feeling a little bit flustered at that one. Uh, he gets the opening pick at the very start, but gives his frag away for free. You've got to have trade potential in those sort of rounds. It's CSGO. It's a best of one as well in a brutal format. These guys need to be pushing past every single game. Space holders want to be at the major. Against a team like Sprout, they should be doing a lot better than that. Sloppy mistakes being made. They go back to the A-bomb site. Great play from Sprout. Good positioning there. Like I said, I could see it building up. They had them pinced in there. Not really hitting the shots and caught out of position. Space Soldiers will give it up. The bomb was planted, of course, and they will not force by into this round. They're showing a little bit of discipline here, as we discussed when my time on the desk earlier today. In the best of ones, you don't want to be focusing on the force by trying to steal rounds away. You really want to be focusing on the proper gun rounds here and making sure you win with your strategies in the way you want to be playing the game and not chasing all the time. It's pretty early on, you can afford to take an eco. That's absolutely fine. They'll sit back and do exactly that. Eagle. As we'll wait with the bomb major, this time the one that's going to be alone to make contact out toward the B platform. And I sent to watch it. Some more passive this time with the rifles, naturally knowing that they're going to be against lesser weapons. No need to get uh, yes, to be the, caught off by the pistols. The fact we will have we have five rifles on the sprout side, right? There's nothing really to gain but Make something to lose as Dennis goes down. So you don't want to be farming frags here. You just want to be playing safe, making sure you keep five players alive. If you had an SMG in the mix, maybe you want to get stuck in and trying to farm the $600 per kill here. But Crystal, he should be able to secure the round at this point. Speedy helps him out there with a shot. But the Famas actually quite a successful round, all things considered, from Space Soldiers. The fact they've actually managed to bring it down to an now a two versus one it shouldn't really have happened so had deagles and no armor no nades well certainly costly exactly yeah. that and the positioning from major he's given up on it if he had a held it he may have caught zen on the rotation as well and speedy and spots him jumping across good information gathered Coming back out for more but they'll grab the m4 ak for zen so they at least keep two of the rifles up but three gone against just pistols early game as well in a back and forth affair so far at least yeah, definitely costly. Yeah, that's going to be putting Sprout in a very uncomfortable position here going into round number four. We do have a full by for Space Soldiers. I know they can win this one. It is going to throw Sprout into an eco situation. But Crystal, as the guys on the desk pointed out, rolling back the years, potentially here with the AWP. Can be a very beneficial weapon on the CD side. You'll see a lot of teams running a double orb setup. I'm not sure whether this team would. We haven't actually get, got to watch them yet. It's quite an exciting prospect there. 2018. New organization, new lineup, and attending the major in this fashion is always going to be a little bit of a difficult procedure. But Crystal looking towards top of middle there doesn't find anything whatsoever. The idea is to try and get some information and we're crossing towards long A, try and shut them down. They have managed to cross, and you can see him aware of that. He goes towards that position, but Zanter, that's what we've come to know of this young man as he blows the head off the orb there and cracks open that A bomb site. And there you go. Continue to be the man that's aggressive. Major following it wow. up. Engine's going to take down Dennis. Good execution on the way through. Speedy steps up to find a double with Paz. Has position on the ramp, immediately able to take him back, not before losing two, but at least in time enough to control the A site. Innocent's going to go for the flank as well. Really nice controlled procedure there towards Long A. You can see Zantara's no flashbangs, no smokes required whatsoever. His face is towards Long A, blows his head off, and he's innocent now. I, in I, three yeah, and I called the flank, which is correct in his rotation, but it's not a flank in terms of going for kills. He's going to sit back and look for exits in this position, I imagine, yeah, because their money is about to be in the bin. Yeah, absolutely. Like He knows they can't really do anything. As you can see on the screen, thank you for bringing that up. Um, we have three players sub 1,000 there, actually four. So they're going to get $1,400 into the next round. Innocent. Even if he saves it, it's not going to do too much for them. If he can take down two players as he dies here, maybe that could be something. Most teams do exit towards Long A, but unfortunately for him, it looks like they'll be focusing towards the connector. So we'll get nothing here. We'll save the M4. Just to know he has got an incendiary, a smoke, and a flashbang. No kit to save. But still, one M4 and some Deagles. They probably will force around that. Is enough to win a round. Space Orders do indeed win. Zantara's with a lovely shot there to open things up to Long A. I don't think Crystal really saw what was coming towards him. Good he, night. He's so, if you watch, he's, he doesn't have some sort of, a fluid motion, I guess is what I'm saying. He doesn't have a fluid motion with his crosshair. He's very snappy, mm. but he knows exactly where to place it, and he strafe aims a lot. So watch for more of that. Again, statue most, would be long as Most teams will, like, will smoke towards in the long air, or at least flash it. He just completely wide peeks in. It's like, you know what? I'm just going to take down anyone who's there, even if you're an orpa. Speedy picks up a Zeus. That's the taser for anyone who's not aware. Maybe we have a few viewers here due to it being the major. Okay. And so, why I'm confusing that we've got two players named Zeus. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's a weapon in the game. It's not too Common, but in the eco situation, especially on a map like Cobblestone, he'll go towards drop down and it's a one shot kill at about two pieces. And innocent, but that saved M4. It's major. Once again, there's no trade potential, man. It's just really sloppy. You don't have to do this. You'd hold up in the default and make the CTs like.
present mistakes, and, and then you can capitalize on I think we're going to see a trend, because now Zontaras has gone so low inside a drop. He'll make up for it at least. But tag to 9 HP, Paz, can find on Dennis. So they have compensated, but you're right. Again, two players going by themselves and getting caught out early at the platform. Crystal as well, 9 HP. Pistol's no problem to take down Zontaras. Yeah, this could actually fall apart once again. Sprout, remember, they came with this one M4 and pistols. It's got a good, good recovery there by Calyx. Let's get dinked in the process, but they boosted up Paz. And he seems like he is one of the key fraggers here. We don't want to talk about him in the space on his line. Now they should finish things off there. Nice work by him. Three players surviving. What looked like a very messy and awkward procedure at the very start. Finally, it's converted to a victory there. And we should see Sprout bringing another eco to the table here. There's another Zeus purchased by Speedy. They're going to take a partial buy here. It means when the loss bonus starts to accumulate, you know you've got a decent buy coming into the next round. You can justify getting some upgraded pistols, Deagles, CZs, PD-50, for example, a bit of body armor, and some light utility. They've got three HE grenades. I can almost guarantee they'll use those towards the other platform. That's where they sort of seem to be giving away most of their kills here. And uh, Kallax just, you know, he's picked up a Zeus himself. I don't know the last game I've seen a Zeus on either team. Yeah, that's true. Be utilized. Well, we'll see whether that works out. So you know, watch out for these HEs. They're waiting to hear footsteps at the other platform right now. That's where Paz is. And they can dump those grenades behind the box he's standing if they really want to. It's unlikely, but now Innocent with the Desert Eagle has got armor as well, trying to open things up. It's drop down, which will be the main focal point for Space Soldiers. Zantara is leading the way. Remember, trading potential has been a massive problem for Space Soldiers so far. They need to sort that out. And Innocent takes the first drop. There's no return for Again, Once again, it's another five on four yeah, against an eco. It's not at all looking positive, considering we haven't had Okay, one gun round, but we went to A. We haven't had too many gun rounds over toward B, and it's, it seems to be problematic time and time again. on Terrace, by the way, two rounds in a row now has gone toward drop. So that's a change in their game style from what we've traditionally seen on Cobblestone. Now, solo peaks again. Makes contact, forces Innocent off the angle. He's down to 46, but the pistols maintain the advantage with 50 seconds left to play. On Taras, the Lancer now about continuing to go by himself. Alex is close enough by, but it's not necessarily for the trade because the vision restored after the flash is thrown. It's Paz that needs to make up for everything once again, walking in from long. It's Engine that gets the kill over his shoulder, but watch for the bomb to try and get to the site with a flank coming in from Speedy because they've got 32 seconds. It seems like a lot, but based on Speedy's positioning, it's going to put a lot of pressure and buy a lot of that time back for Sprout. Paz has spotted Speedy towards the corner there. Speedy actually sneaks by, so he might actually pick this frag up, and he will indeed. It looks like another nightmare situation for Space Soldiers. He really needs to tighten things up here on these anti-ecos. You don't have to commit. You don't have to take, be taken down in the very first 10 seconds. Hold up. It's usually more beneficial to go towards the A-bomb site when you know you're up against a full eco. It can be very difficult to get out of drop down. As you can see, there's many places to hide, the tree, the rock, the bomb site, and there's no real utility deployed. Where is the wall of smokes? You can go for an execution still. It doesn't have to be completely dry going into the bomb site there, and it's disappointing that uh, Space Soldiers give up another one there, but great use for Sprout. It's going to be a very good buy coming into the next round. Not so much for Space Soldiers, though, I'm afraid. Three AK-47s, two MAC-10s, Major and Engine will be wielding those weapons, and they're heading towards A this time. We're going to have Dennis challenging with the AK-47 towards long joined by crystal awp of course in towards danger bit of a crossfire set up here as dennis is based in towards the hay bales the smokes will hold the terrorists at bay for now they're not going to be pushing the mid doors they have no b control remember you can see in the top left of your screens that's out uh, they'll wait for the smoke to go down flashbang in probably send the mac 10s in to do some work some reconnaissance if you will and then try and trade the frags we'll see if this works out for them at all here comes the smoke and the flashbangs and they'll just commit fully towards middle and see if they can shut down the ct defense Five together for Space Soldiers. There's no trade potential in that, and it doesn't exist. We'll see if they can finally open up the site cleanly, although it's Crystal to try. Oh. Shot back with the Aba miss. And as good as a mile. In they go, because Engine now with two on the Mac 10. So he's jumped down to take damage from the flames, but he's desperate to try and get kills back, and Space Soldiers make it up. This isn't the prettiest game of CS I've ever cast in, Matt. I won't lie to you, but so far... I'm glad you're an honest man, at least. Well, exactly. I, I, try, I try to be, but um, four to three. Sprout now presumably on an eco themselves. Very back and forth so far. No one really gaining a massive amount of momentum as we enter a round of braids here. We can see Crystal's gone all in, Matthew. He's gone for the AWP. Surrounded by an M4 of Dennis, and we've got the Deagles out. This is a, a bold move. We'll see if it works out for them. Zun Sorry, Crystal has a lot of work cut out for him. He has to actually find the first pick. He has to actively go on the upper platform. He can't just sit back towards Chicken Coop. I feel like he has to really work hard for the frags. And Terrence might not even let him as he misses the first shot there. They know the orbs on this side of the map. Two misses. That's not good enough, I'm afraid. And Terrence will take him down. And it will take towards the B bomb site. Before Innocent picks up the AWP, though. 
Finds another shot. Maybe he gives him a chance here. Yeah, but the element gone. The fact that he was running it alone with not much support weapons with him. First shot was essential. It is only a one-man advantage, so you're right in saying that Innocent could at least pull this back, but yeah, much closer to the site. I say that with bated breath, though, because they're taking the bomb back through B with insecurities as to what waits on the other side. The problem with doing that is they're actually getting closer to a forward position of Dennis, and he's got a rifle. And Speedy's got a headshot, it seems. Paz gets taken down, and once again, Space Soldier's choking in these key oh, yeah. situations when they have to lead. And once again, there's no trade there. You've got to be really careful with that, lads. They do get it eventually, but these are really sloppy rounds here. And look at the HP as a result, not to mention Speedy with the headshot on the Deagle has picked up a weapon, so this is dead even. And he's got the right idea to try and get aggressive, but unfortunately not looking in the right direction. He'll get taken down immediately, and Kallax with six HP needs to get on the site and get the plant. He's already spotted. Good shot to Speedy, fair enough, but he's on one, and somehow the nade doesn't connect, it's just barely too far away. He's got the time to plant it. AWP as well for Innocent. Smartly is going to switch over to the AK-47, and he's going to play this fight. Oh, Alex is going all in, but it's not going to work out. Well, there we go once again. We get the opening pick, and they have the B-bomb side. They're in there, but they make a really weird call. Someone's fully committed on their team by the tree inside the B-bomb side to walk all the way back around. It took so long that walking, like he said, they had no information. Is anyone top of middle? Has anyone made it to the B-halls? We didn't have any presence on A whatsoever. They leave a player alone in the B-bomb site. He goes down, they give away a rifle. I feel like when you've that committed, you've got someone in the bomb side itself, you really should go for it. And unfortunately, it will be another scrappy victory there. As Sprout go four to four, there will be a force by in response, of course, two AKs and UMP, a MAC-10. It's not looking good towards the B-bomb side once again. That's where Crystal will be residing. Actually, he's gone towards A this time, so he's going to be mixing things up. I do like that. And towards B, they have got a few bits of utility to work with. Committing to the long corner today, though, does mean rather large rotation. Speedy finds the first kill as a result. On the Mac 10 again will find a further frag, and the this time the flash actually catches off Innocent, who would have been the man to find the backside of Speedy. So he still gets position. Major's going to finally take him down. Unfortunately, he gets tripping over top of his teammate engine inside of the alleyway, and it leaves him alone. AK in hand to work with. Bomb has been dropped back toward the stairwell on entrance. Good find out Dennis through the edge of the smoke. Down to the one versus one. Crystal's close, and he spots him already. He's going to stick to the seat. Z75 gets aggressive, but Crystal's gone out to the USP as well, and he finds the kill immediately. Yeah, I'm not liking this so far, Matthew. I would say at this point, neither of these teams really convincing me they're going to make it to a, a, the, the final 60 of a major at this point. It's it's really chaotic and quite sloppy counter strike, but overall, it's another victory there for Sprout. They take the lead 5-4. to four. No bomb planted this time, but still Space Soldiers go all in with Mac 10s, three of those, and the CZ. Very interesting decisions in terms of the economic situation for themselves. And they'll probably go towards B and focus on the drop down area, perhaps, as Innocent picks up an MP9 himself. Crystal's still, still on the AWP. Just had a tweet sent to me as well that part of the reason Zontaris's most move movements and mechanics are so quick is he actually plays with acceleration. Really? That, yeah. that, is, oof, that, is, that is not a consistent um, algorithm. Within CSGO, you really should not use that. Well, like, it's really inconsistent, but each their own. He is an amazing game. Yeah, exactly. he's fine with it, so whatever. Yeah, exactly that. Style is really, seems to work. Just good frag back on Innocent, but again, the frags and trades go the way of Sprout inside of the site, set up accordingly. He's going to try and peek back out and spot anyone. Still on toward long, that need. That back was a smoke. Landed in late. Looked like there was a frag grenade at his feet, but apparently not. He gets inside of the drop room engine with 100 HP. Unfortunately, Major's in a slightly worse position. MP9 does have bomb, but 10 HP. He's really relying on engine's position. Now, the good news is all three are in B, and he is behind them. Yeah, and the fact that the crystal's by the door first, this could actually get a little bit problematic for Sprout here. Engine, you're absolutely right. He has to hold the door as he has the MAC-10 nice and close. He knows he doesn't have a range advantage here, but the A-bomb site is actually open. Of course, they don't know that, and it will be his teammate Major and 10 HP going very slowly here. I feel like they really have to just push the envelope here and see if they get stuck in, but still, here he comes, and he will be making his way to the bomb site. Yeah, problem is they didn't know if anyone else was still out toward long. Otherwise, Engine, if he had a stay closer to the site, might have had a better position on it, but gets Crystal down. As you mentioned, he was the close one. AWP can't take the range battle, or rather, lack thereof range battle. Back in, tries to oh, trade. Wow. He's point Dennis as well. As soon as he took down Major, he was a sitting duck. <laughs> Three Mac 10s and two CZs, and it works out. It all comes down to that man at the very end. Engine, very calm, very disciplined there. He has control of Connector for so long, falls back towards 
the danger room and manages to find the first shot, takes down the Orpa Crystal. This is the beginning of the sequence. And you feel like with 10 HP, Major shouldn't have even stayed alive as long as he did that, as he comes out towards the long A area and he uses that distraction, and it works out very nicely for Dennis. With the M4A1S, only 20 bullets wouldn't have had much left in the chamber after taking down that first kill. A force by coming in from Sprout, from what I can see, they're going to go for Deagles, UMPs, a CZ, a bit of utility as well. And to be fair, it might be justified at this point, considering how bad Space Soldiers have been in that anti-eco plays. We'll go towards long A once again, this time Zanteras trying to hit more glorious shots here as he leads the way, AK-47 in hand. We have got two players towards the A bomb, so that's going to be Crystal and Dennis. We'll see whether they can hold them off once again. That is my be a victim of curiosity if he pushes through the smoke, having a deagle on the other side of it, but he likes to let his teammates at long do the evaluation first. No one clearing through danger curiously enough, though, with that smoke down, knowing that Paz needs access. Basically going to leave him to his own devices to take that position. Wouldn't have taken long to clear it to push back through danger, but Kalix and Zantara is together. Immediately they find Dennis. Crystal needs to get aggressive as a result, and Paz actually catches it off accordingly. So good timing. It works out. Space soldiers get a sight. Zen, innocent, already backing away toward B. All with armor. Pistol's worth... Slightly less than armor in this situation as they try and re-establish their economy. But the round of Space Soldiers puts them 6-5. Remember, it was the map choice based on how the veto worked out to sprout. And Space Soldiers are likely to start on the T side. Indeed. And T side is favored on Cobblestone. So they still need to have more than just... I mean, five rounds. We've seen teams get away with five rounds on CT sides in the past. Oh, absolutely. Well, it looks like... Have to work a little bit harder this round. At least there's going to be three players alive at the moment. Make it two as Speedy goes down. Innocent and Zen with the upgraded pistols here. Remember, this was pretty much an all in play from Sprout. They've got 350 and 150 respectively left. They want to save the Deagle, the CZ here for second fight of Jerry going to the next round. They almost certainly can't buy that. Innocent might be dropped. Zen will be. And he will survive with his Desert Eagle. But that's about all he can take to the next round map. 2K per player on the Sprout esports side. And it's six to five. Space Soldiers have a chance here at least to. Get a decent lead at this stage, as they did, as you said, mention they picked the T side here. Hasn't been amazing so far, but maybe the jitters, the first game of the tournament itself. We do know Space Soldiers can be better than this, but uh, yeah, I need to pull the socks up a little bit. We'll have a look at the scoreboard while we're here. Engine at the very top after finding that glorious clutch with the MAC-10. He's on 12 kills. Zantara's on 8. He hasn't really got into 5th gear just yet. Zeus is out once again as they go for a mid push. A lot of teams running this strategy in full egos, you know. It can actually be beneficial. It has a snowball effect. If you do get the first kill and surprise the T's like that, you get an M4 in the hands of Crystal just like that. And all of a sudden, this can get a little bit tricky for Space Soldiers. Once again, it's our first frag against an eco, but Antares will reply, watching the flanks there. Equals things out. The bomb should be planted. The problem is that mid push. As soon as you do spot it, even lose the first play, you can get the bomb down very quickly, and they might just be better off saving the M4. Innocent already has body armor here, so at least that saves a lot of cash going to the next round. Speedy's position inside. Drop. With the taser. The Zeus in hand at the ready. Will you make the sound effect if it's successful? Uh, yeah, all right. I think all it's right. going to be. Oh, oh, oh it did. Tried. What it HP? Hit. How does that? I've never seen that before. I've never it's... have either. I thought it was Instagive. I thought it was over. I guess if it goes through the wall somewhat, maybe? I was wondering that as well, because it looked like it may have clipped the corner. That's remarkable. OK, that's a first for me. However, my, what I was going to say was that he's perfectly positioned with that weapon to do exactly what it's good for. Instant hit, grab a gun, run away. All he was looking for was the eco economic investment of an I AK-47. Guess if you, uh, that, that weapon I'm not particularly well versed in. If you know exactly why that only did 99, please. Maybe it's the range. Maybe because it was at the maximum I didn't range. I think there was fall off, though. That's no, no, did I. I thought, if, I thought if it hit, that was it. Maybe tweet me if you, if you know the answer to that, and I can, I can read it out. But uh, Kanak spots him, gets the kill, taken down to one HP. You can see so the, the, the bolts the running through his body. Yeah, and it doesn't touch the wall, the bolt, but the bolt yeah. may be inaccurate. It's actually where yeah, it's the, the graphical representation. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But uh, either way, here we go, 7 to 5, another gun round here. Crystal, just to note, what we call a glass cannon. He has the AWP, the powerful sniper rifle, but no armor to protect him. So a few nades or a couple of bullets to the body could actually take him down. There, like you mentioned. Focusing on that upper platform, this won't be a default this time. We have got engine all the way in T-spawn for now. Presumably throwing a smoke before they go for a... Execution towards the B bomb site. There will be a wall of smokes, what we call this, in front of that statue just there on the left hand side. All the smokes will land. Molotovs will rain in, and Innocent seems to be aware of that, waiting for his chance to strike. His teammates are set him up with the flashbangs here, and it's going to be a full clip for Space Soldiers. So, according to Vendetta, it does have fall off. Good entrance, finally. They're getting their 
That's quick from him. Into high, that was very quick. Like, that was like the out of our mouth. There is yeah, fall off, so that's what it was. It was maximum range. But Space Soldier's looking much more like a unit working onto the B site finally. Holding hands, two by two. Certainly better off than when they were giving away frags early on. Again, it'll be a save attempt from Sprout. And they will hunt. They've got the money finally. It's not a massive wealth, but around 13, heading into round 14 with a win on their hands. It's enough that they'll have money for the rest of the half so they can afford to go after them. Well, absolutely. Crystal wanting to save this AWP, certainly. They hold towards the B-Halls here, and the hunt is on. The Space Soldiers are off the leash, trying to find anything they can as Speedy. He's already dead, man. Don't know why I mentioned him. It's Dennis and Crystal. It's fine. I know you like him. Yeah, well, it's one of my favorites. Uh, they will survive with the weapons here. Paz is putting on a pretty good show so far. Good entry frags there towards the B bomb side. Great spray control. He's here dragging it down, just controlling the bullets, taming them almost as he finds round number eight for his team. Luckily, though, the AWP and the M4 saved. Very serious look on his face, just to know. That's extremely That's, serious. Yeah, he means business. He is not messing around. Um, two rounds to go, round number 14 here. Still going to be a mishmash by for Sprout. The UMP comes out, the Famous for Zen. It's enough, though, with the AWP there. And Crystal now getting some body armor. It's definitely enough. And it looks like they might go towards long A once again with two players. It will be, indeed, Dennis and Crystal. They've been trying to run this setup with Crystal baiting in Dennis, but he goes for a more aggressive stance at this point, looking all the way towards middle, looking at the steps where the T's like to face that area, hoping to blow the heads off. And Dennis will rotate and actually feel comfortable leaving Crystal in that aggressive position. Paz might catch him, though. Chicken. So just past Dennis, smoke down. Crystal still at the corner with the reverse angle. Majors might be in a position as well, lurking late toward drop to catch off Innocent who wants the fast flank. But inside of the site, they've slowed off in the smoke. They go far enough for Crystal not only to find one, but follow up on the Calyx. And they want to try and wow. get effort onto him. Finally, Zontara's hitting remarkably quick yeah. shots as we expect. Takes down Crystal. That's almost all the firepower gone now. The orbs dropped, the Dennis M4 isn't available, and now they've got a retake without any real grenades. Zontara's with the Molotov towards the balcony area. The CTs have already committed, and he's hungry for blood. Looking for a few more shots. There's another headshot for Zontara's. Might shut this down single-handedly. Four kills in total for him. Finds round number nine, and that's what we've come to expect from him. Now he's starting to get warmed up and showing us what he's made of with the AK-47. And we said at 5-5 that Sprout had enough rounds, potentially, based on what we've seen from certain teams in the past, the history of Cobblestone, and Space Soldiers had to set up, step up. Well, they certainly have, and I think that goes down tactically as well to being able to get, you mentioned it early on, trades yeah. playing together. That's a rough round for Sprout there. Five on three with the orb up, and then Zantara's completely eviscerates everyone in front of him. Number 15 now, and there will be money available again to maximum loss bonus situation for Sprout. Famouses, UMPs, and Crystal, after saving the orb before, does have enough to squeeze out one more here. AWP, no armor, no nades. Decoy in his back pocket. I think that'll be too beneficial in this particular round, as he's got company. He heads towards long A, and the T's are coming. Even if he hits the first shot, it's very likely he'll be taken down about three seconds after. He looks towards long he's got to hit this one there's the first can he survive i didn't think he could but he's done a good job here surviving so far oh, can't hit the second unfortunately there preemptive strike doesn't land towers with the shot back in return as we'll back away from middle as well and seemingly this is part of their tactics it's all down to timing with paz's entrance rather than clearing from long itself but they'll take the bomb and wrap it back around or at least look to do so major's been anchoring off of the b tunnels the entire time and Zen is very low playing reverse side drop, 28 HP, in a position that often gets an arsenal of utility thrown toward it. Perhaps wise to relocate as a result. Unfortunately, the relocation favors the opposite side as to where the bomb is going. Last round, 30 seconds. Bomb takes away towards Zen. This, Yo, yep. you could be right. If Major gets his kill, it's done, and the round should be over. That's going to force a rotation, but maybe not so much. Dennis isn't taking the bait right now. He holds towards longer. This could be the play yep. that wins in the round. He hasn't rotated whatsoever, showing great amount of discipline. Her footstep right now takes down the key player, Zantara, as he drops, it, and they will find an AK-47. Great adaptive call. Immediately, Zantara's called, nope, they're all still in A, and engine slipped through the smoke and went back to B. So oh, at least they made a brilliant decision. Them. No, the they haven't. Minute. Everything's planting. No, You're he's right. not. He can't. He's not there in time. And they win it on time alone. 
because they did pull a double fake. They had A on the opening pick. They went back over. Major went in, and that lack of rotation, it does win them the rounds. Antares did make the call to wrap back to B, but they couldn't get there in time at all. It was a nice idea, but yes, didn't quite stick the landing, I'm afraid. If they get that bomb down, they probably win the round. But Sprout steal it away, and we swap things over. It's 9-6 in favor of the Turkish space soldiers right now. Sprout, we'll have a look at their bar on the CT side. They get one kit and two flashbangs and... Sprout will get the one smoke. No upgraded pistols just yet. You do get a chance. You get about two minutes if you want it in the pistol uh, at half time just to work out what the strategy is going to be. You might as well take it. This is uh, a very brutal format after all, Matt. The Swiss format um, where you have three lives, best of ones, and you don't really know who you'll be playing into the next round, right? So it's difficult to prepare. You don't want to give anything away here. And you feel like Space Soldiers, I would say they're the favorites coming into this one. Sure. Yep. Um, Jason wasn't really on the hype train. He feels like He was Sprout. the only one that picked Sprout. To yeah. be fair, I was surprised that it was actually that one-sided amongst our talent predictions because I actually thought that Space Soldiers is a little bit shaky at times. I gave them the favorite in this, but I thought it would have been a, a, a they, more evenly debated They topic. definitely have their weaknesses. Their, their firepower is unquestionable there. They've got great players available, but it seems like they're, they're still... Uh, there's still holes to be plugged right now, especially those anti-ego situations. They're not going to be making it deep in this Major. They have that against the top teams. They will just punish you so much for that. Major, nice shot there towards middle on the CT side. He wants a little bit more here, it seems. He's already taken down Crystal, and he'll fall back five on four. That's what you want to do. Get the advantage, then hold the bomb sides. He gets towards the APC right now, looking towards long A. He does grant mid control towards Innocent and Co. The bomb is there, but as you can see, Speedy. He'll be alone towards the B Hall. So what's the play here? A lot of players do like to lurk in that position. That's the smoke towards connector right now. Flashbangs are coming in on a pistol. Probably no fakes coming in here. We'll see whether they fully commit. Smoke deployed, and they actually do fall back towards the, the B Halls. Problem is they have no presence here at the platform mat. And we've got Paz, I believe, with the USP. He spotted them all. That's a really early call he can give now. It's not like that fake's really done too much for me. He can actually fall back. Call for all the rotation. There's three CTs there already ready and waiting. Engine. Long angle, he gets the first pass, still playing on the statue, can peek on the back of it, and he does exactly that to take down Zen. Also taking down the bomb, thrown forward of the wall. So this is aggressive from drop has to happen because they need to get the bomb back, even though they do. And they get speedy, Ooh. one on one, Innocent with the angle and the better shot. Innocent with four kills in total out of nowhere. Beautiful stuff from him. Vegetable calls make their way back towards B with the commitment. It's such a long rotate, the CT's had established himself on the upper platform there, but it didn't seem to matter. Innocent makes his way out of the platform, hits absolutely everything with that clock, especially the last shot, completely blows engine out of the water. And it will be a much-needed pistol there. And you can see the frustration on their face. Calm down. Yes, I agree. Need to focus on the round coming up as we get into round number two. Space Soldiers presumably will be forced buying here. I can see some CZs and Deagles purchased here. They might be taking a timeout, just trying to calm things down. Interesting to take it immediately. It is tactical, but immediately after the pistol. It's going to be Sprout calling it. Yeah. Enough. So they just win the round. And maybe they just want to make sure they don't make the same mistake space. Soldiers. Exactly. Don't lose the ego. This is their chance back into the game and to take control economically. Uh, we do know that these rounds, it's not an open shut case like it used to be back in the day. Like These can be very dangerous indeed. Uh, the meta right now is force buying in the second round on the CT side and trying to bring out those Deagles and CZs that they can be very dangerous in the right hands. And Sprout very aware of that. Go fast towards long. This is the same setup that Sprout were trying to use. Two players towards long A. Doesn't really work too effectively here. Santara should be taken down. He'll get one. No flashy headshots this time. Good refrags from Dennis there. As we find Paz with another kill. It's actually starting to look like it could fall apart here. Three on three. Paz is low. Mechanics has a couple of players towards long A. Takes a bullet to the face and he won't be getting anything done there. Dennis, good shot. Engine tries to sneak in behind them at Crystal's just ready enough. 18 HP. He wins out the duel. Less than that, 15 for Paz. He gets found by Dennis as well, 9 to 8, and they are back into it. So the timeout justified, perhaps, in that they don't lose subsequent eco. Decent frag distribution for everyone on the Space Soldier's side. A little more one-sided if you want to look at the Sprout roster. Speedy leads the way with 18. He leads all, in fact, with 18. Yeah. How bad is it? Just no is 15. But uh, this should be the full eco now for Space Soldiers. Getting one flashbang, that usually means like a stack somewhere. Flash over, particularly like long A this time, so we'll probably flash through the mid doors and try and unload. And like we discussed before in the first half, have that snowball effect. Find one rifle. There's the flashbang going off. The crystal will survive, or maybe not. Major takes him down. Zen now just needs to find maybe one or two kills. Doesn't have to commit. As long as he holds him rotating towards B, he should be absolutely fine. Good angle. Well. 
claimed by Zen there. Gonna find a couple of frags to die than picking up anything. Can major Mac 10, top of middle, and he'll have 58 HP. The bomb's planted on the B bomb site, as you can see by Innocent there. And not really much major can do here. If he finds a kill, that's 600 extra dollars. That weapon won't be too beneficial going to the next round, is where the game really begins in the second half. The gun round, of course. And a gun round at 9 9. To take down Major at the AK, pretty straightforward. Just to note, like this Sprout team is another similar vein to FaZe and Mouse Sports. This is an international squad, right? So we can, just, we can hear them in the background, like chatting English there. So um, it's always interesting to see that, that more and more teams adopting this, like some not necessarily having talent available in a particular region, like uh, I guess Germany at this point, most of the best players from Germany in big right now. So sure. Speedy and Dennis have to work out well if we want to make. A team together, we're going to have to pick players from different regions. And I'm and sure they're used to speaking English from the mouse board, well, so and, that's fine. And, and on the other side of that as well, there's certain people in regions that don't get opportunity that perhaps they they want to look for elsewhere. I would give Innocent the nod on that, per, yeah, for example. He's, you know, VP in Poland has been the staple for so long, the most consistent roster of any eSport roster, and has been together, I think, now for four and a half, if not five years yep. um, at this point in time. So for him, without a second Poland team, Polish team that's been very consistent, he's just had enough. He's he's looking elsewhere. Well, I think you're absolutely right there. Just to note, Paz has $4,750. That is exactly enough to purchase the AWP. So that's why they'll take a pause right now and work out, do we want him with just the AWP and nothing else? Or does he get a UMP and all the nays? They are pretty weak right now. They get the M4 tab, but not a single player has a kit. So Paz goes for the M4. Presumably he buys the one and only kit. We'll see if that comes through. He's got an incendiary so far. He won't. He spends his money on the incendiary. So that's interesting. If the bomb gets planted, they're going to find themselves in a very uncomfortable position here. Not so much a bonus situation for Sprout. They do only have one SMG going to round number 19 here. That's going to be Speedy, UMP in hand, and Crystal. Of course, AWP hasn't had the best game so far. Eight kills, 15 deaths. And it's a full rifle setup, as I mentioned, for Space Soldiers heading towards A. Sprout dictate the pace here. They know they have a huge advantage in terms of the money. We've got Space Soldiers on the ropes and looking to take the lead for the first time in a very long time. Dennis, Zen, and Innocent together. Crystal babysit if anyone pushes out toward long. They're going to work their way into mid. Still for Crystal. Already making steps toward the site itself, having walked out into the ramp area. That means Engine and Zontaras are left alone behind them. So when Speedy Kittles try to find them through danger, and in fact, they're going to spot up Engine, which turns the attention of Zen. He goes directly over to the choke point position, finds the kill. Kalix goes down. Zontaras is isolated and bombs plant. This should be the sprout round, however. Terrence puts up a fight to try and at least get Speedy back. And with Paz getting one, it's actually just going to be for the escape at this point in time. Losing Zontara as it was their best bet back into the site. So the default there from Sprout working together. And Zen, the Finnish boy Wonder, stepping up at the AK-47 there. Two frags for him. Dennis with the third. And Paz, 5 HP Major, holding the B-bomb. So there's nothing they can really do but sit back and wait. They'll try and save their weaponry here. You can see them calculatedly placed towards the back of the site. One of the platform, one of the chicken. Doesn't look like Sprout will be on the hunt right now. You, you know what? It's almost a valuable strategy to just allow them to save their weaponry and make them force by the next round, thinking they've got two weapons there. Um, we always discussed there was really threat and NIP that really established this idea. You don't want to hunt them down. Let them save two rifles and almost ruin the round for themselves next time because they're going to be forced by with UMPs and trying to chuck out everything they possibly can. And if you do win this round, Sprout that is, it's going to be a massive position to be in there. You're looking at a 5-0 deficit and uh, completely shutting their money down. So then. Uh, up at least for Crystal. It's probably finally getting a lead. They'll be happy with that. It's taken them a while to get there after losing five rounds in a row in the second or the first half, second half, the first half. Yeah. Engine's gonna be the one to play aggressive. Zontaras rotates early. No one's gone aggressive inside of boost so as to, or rather, excuse me, in drop so as to boost or try and get into the B tunnels. To good effect. And interestingly enough, four players toward B right now for Space Soldiers leaves a rather lopsided affair. An engine with a lot of pressure applied onto him, or at least soon to be. Zen wants to lead the way with the bomb, but thankfully they'll smoke off engine before that becomes a problem. In doing so, though, they start to draw the attention of the players at B, and they get much closer to connection for a rotation should it be required. Nothing much to report here. We have got long A control and Speedy waits towards middle, just trying to bait out grenades on the CT side, bleed them dry. 
We do know that there's a lack of money on the CT side here. They have three flashbangs remaining. Zantara's with the incendiary. Watch out for that. And Engine pushes through the smoke. The speedy will spot that coming. Major finds a frag with the M4A4. And now the commitment towards the A side comes through. Good Molotov deployed here. Zen looking for anyone being flushed out there from the bomb side itself. Plants safely, knowing the flames are in front of him. They can't actually jump up and do anything about that, man. That's actually quite smart. That approach, it flushes CTs out and stops them pushing towards the plant itself. Zen, he's playing really well in this second half right now. The AK-47 looks fantastic as Dennis finds one of the final decisions here. They know exactly where the last player is. That's Zantares, and down he goes. Crystal starting to arrive at the AWE. Really nice round there from Sprout, and they really have this half in their grasp. They're looking very good. This is much cleaner than what Space Holders looked on their T side. Oh, absolutely. Far more tactical all the way through. Good trade from Dennis as well into Calix. Having taken back the site, the post plant. Yeah, good work. Good jump there by Chris. That's a nice movement. Just to get the information, knows exactly where the remaining CT is. Doesn't allow us to have even opportunity to fire at a shot. And that was a force buy, remember, from Space Soldiers. The maximum loss bonus coming in now, so they can just buy a bit of a partial buy here. We discussed that idea earlier in the first half. You get upgraded pistols, a couple of sets of body armor, some basic utility, and see whether you can find opening shots. But so far, so good for Speedy and Co. Good grenade there towards the e box room. Dennis trying to find that first kill, which he will not. It looked like he had that destined to come in his favor, but unfortunately, Santaras will take him down, five and four. Doesn't manage to get the rifle. Low HP just wants to get the hell out of there. And now that should slow things right down here for the international squad. Certainly gives them something to think about. Can't commit blindly. Pass as well is not part of the stack that is toward B. He's electing. So he's at 75 with armor in his battle. Lonely battle. Majors at least rotated back to A and B inside of the site when Paz gets found. But I'm not 100% sure they'll commit to that side just yet because Innocent is leading off back toward B. Zen's going to try and sell this. So taking no chances against the pistols. I like the approach. It well as, yeah, double smoke. Calix yeah, Major cool. and Zontaras is already back over. Engine's going to go at least to the B side, at least somewhat close to where the action will be, but with just the pistol. Imagine he accomplishes much the second shot coming from Calix. They've got the info for Zen. He was the one that was trying to sell the fake toward eight. He's going to get position. Innocent's going to do it all as himself. I was going to say Zen's going to be perfectly positioned to just get a clean flank on all of them, but well, he goes down, just pads remaining, and it's 12 to nine. So Sprout are looking very formidable on the T side. Yeah, that was a lovely fair. You can see that's so cool. They get some bit of control, push the CTs back, deny them any sort of vision as to what's going on middle. They've got some very deep smokes actually throwing from the T side of middle there, behind the door, that land on the A bomb site and actually pull rotations over. At that point, because they're on the T side of middle, they can go back towards the B uh, halls and actually find themselves in towards the B bomb site. As the smokes are blooming towards A, get in there and you can see the CTs. They knew it was coming just before the bomb was planted, but they've got to rotate through the double doors in the B bomb site there, get wrecked by Innocent, who's ready and waiting for the AK-47, just to knock them all down as they come through. It was an eco, sure, but uh, Sprout operated very efficiently there. I like that a lot. We go to another gun round here. Space Order's yet to post anything in the second half. Paz with the AWP this time around him will be four M4s. They've got a decent amount of utility, and now it really is time to turn up Space Soldiers. Round number 22, we thought they'd be clear favorites here, but Sprout showing us that the more tactical side, and it's actually paying off in uh, spades right now. Yeah, but underwhelming perhaps from Space Soldiers as well. Calix forced off the position at drop. He's still gonna stay inside of the room, but smoke in front. Yeah, and he's finally gonna have pressure in this position as well. See what he can do here. Drops that smoke on top of the Molotov, so it gives him like a little bit of a one-way here. It's not perfect, but it does allow him to have somewhat of an advantage. Pushes them back there with the incendiary, but that doesn't last forever. Seven seconds on that, and it's going to be up to Dennis now to try and shut him down. He won't face straight away. And it's building up their play, working out what sort of information is available to them. It looks like it will be a B finish here with Dennis focusing towards drop down. Will his teammates go towards the upper platform? That's yet to be seen as they start to get control of that area. Ten. Sell it off from the outside. Dennis goes down. He shot into the corner to fake make noise. Dennis gets control of it. Torrent lines them up, however. Bomb goes down. He still knows Innocent's close, but he's got to be careful. Incendiary in hand rather than the gun, but he backpedals accordingly. Unfortunately, not quite enough. Innocent's got the bomb back and a great shot to engine. Yeah. It's down to a one-on-one -on -one with Paz, who has the AWP and is smoked off currently. He'll make his way back in through E-Box. Pre-scoped as well. Won't need to make noise when he gets close enough to Innocent, but... Tough to commit. It's tough to have a nerve to stay in such a tunneled vision. 
when you're trying to get information inside of a rather broad position, especially when Innocent's not gone out toward the stairwell. So smart decision to go to the AK, and he makes it work as well. That's the first round for Space Soldiers there. One player surviving. That will indeed be Paz. Great work by Innocent there. The 180 towards the Hobbit Hole to actually pick up that kill and bring it to 1v1 situation. The problem is, Space Soldiers, yes, like I said, they win the round, but one player surviving. There's so much reset potential here. Sprout know it, and Zanteras definitely saves the round there. It was a 5 on 4. He managed to delay Innocent as long as possible there. And Paz, upgraded as the AK 47, wins the round. Had to make a ton of noise, and that's why Innocent faces. You can see the frustration on his face there. Like I said, though, Space Soldiers will buy up in the district. Everyone's down to zero. Lose this, it's pretty much game over. It'll be 13-10 with no money in the bank. They'll be forced to go all in with pistols. So they have to win this round. It has to be a conversion here. Nothing else will do. If they can lose the round, maybe save with three players, that would be enough. But apart from that, we'll see where we'll sprout. Change the pace here. Looking like they'll go fast towards B. Flashbangs going in. They do see some more tactical side as Innocent leading the charge. Had a very good game so far. AK-47 in hand, trying to find the opening kill. They should do as well, because Taras was completely blinded and out of position. Somehow slips away inside the smoke. Engine on Taras, therefore, having stayed alive. Combined for three kills, make it four. Three of which are all by Zontaras. He's pulled one back, but Zontaras gets away from danger and somehow is the danger man himself. That's amazing. He didn't even take any damage there, Matt. Four kills, shelling down a B-Rush by himself. This guy is an animal. 12 to 11, he keeps the dream alive. He said it was must win. How does he do that? M4 as well, making it look like an AK towards the end. Lovely shot, so they can't find him. And this shot sounded extra crispy. As you can see the frustration coming in there. Innocent loses another 1v1. Well, and essentially missed the opportunity to take down Zontaras immediately. Yeah. Oh, there we go, Innocent. Starting to get a bit of rattled here. Zen is down to 70 HP. Did he get knifed in spawn? I see that weight. I think I've said that. Yeah, I've no, 20 times much. in 2017. He gets it's, knifed by his teammate in spawn. It's one of those bad habits. Like, just don't do it during practice. Yeah. Because you just, it becomes a muscle memory thing and you just do it without thinking. And, and the thing and is, like, you might have seen like a big deal 70, but that makes the M4s. Yep. And even those UMPs have one tap potential now. That's a really big deal. Engine comps damage from an A down to 39. It's from the smoke at long in a battle with Innocent, but. You stack bomb toward A with four players at side for Sprout. Santaros and Major are going to try and work together, both covering from long, one at corner, one watching down Danger himself, which is Major. Crystal and Dennis, that'll be the first to round the corner. Tries to bait them in, tries to bait them in, but it doesn't work at all, not even close. Dennis walks around and finds Zontara sitting in the hay bales. And good response from Crystal as well. Major goes down, so it becomes the last line of defense. Yeah, he had a chance there to shut him down. The smoke's come through. This makes him almost redundant, Matthew. He might have to fall back and just call it a day. Save the AWP. It'll be innocent, though, looking, listening out for footsteps as he holds towards drop down. He'll suddenly get some information here. So then it's coming through. Quite an easy shot there. Make it a double. Showing some frustration in the previous round, but makes up for it in round number 24. They're going to take the lead once again, and that's going to be a real difficult difficult situation for Space Soldiers. Only one player surviving at this moment. Paz still might go down here. Now they know where he is as he rattles off another shot there from the other platform. Five players hunting him down. They're not going to let him say that AWP is way too dangerous. And he misses another and surely goes down. Dennis finds him. And that should be game. I'm not going to say they're completely broken. Well, they are. They've got about $1,600 per player. And it's 13-11. They have at least have to take a full eco, but they're going all in, Matt. This is it now. Do or die time. Fight or flight. CZ's armor. One smoke. And a dream, perhaps. Are you It's romantic this? of you. Yeah. I, I'm not going to get that romantic. No? Okay. No. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. It's going to be a little bit of a desperate attempt here. Just pistols. They are all in with a couple of smokes, a couple of flashbacks. That is it. Crystal immediately looks toward... Mid to see if there will be any uncharacteristic rushes with the lesser weapons. Major is rushed to at least get himself positioned at long. He'll go beyond the corner. In fact, he knows they're now on the other side. Oh, that need. Bouncing in. It's up 12. Fight forward and fights valiantly, but only gets damage into Innocent. Seven HP left for him. With Major down. And an initial, I won't say stack, but bias toward B. We'll have to spread the defense out quite thin, and this should go 14 to Sprout. I know it's early to call that, but just based on positioning and how the, tactically they've been playing, it would be hard to fathom them losing in one of these situations against Pistols. Stranger things have happened. But you can see the mentality immediately. Slow down, play as a team, work together. Well, they will commit towards the A bomb side. That's with the bombers. Smokes towards Connector. All the players from the CT side and the B bombs at this round is done, I'm afraid. 
I won't hide this one up too much as I think space soldiers are aware of their predicament at the same time. They might as well save map. They'll manage to bring armor and CZ to the next round, have another chance at it, but uh, still not looking too good, I'm afraid. 14 and 11 guaranteed at this point. They will be boosting up towards drop down to see if Kallax can find anything here whatsoever. He'll get up, and by the looks of things, they might not even find a frag. You haven't seen Speedy in a pretty promising position right now. If he goes all the way towards T-Spawn, he'll actually find them saving their uh, upgraded pistols towards T-Spawn. And now he gets information that he be saving, and he needs to have crisper aim than that to find some shots, but it will send them back in towards the B-Halls. I'm sure they'll go for a couple of kills. So taking every penny to the next round, Space Soldiers will, with only two rounds in this half, find themselves, as you said, desperate to play a romantic way. I've given up on romance, Henry. Whoa, yeah. You were my last hope, and it all fell apart. Oh, well, maybe, maybe next year. 2019 will be yours. Nah, it's all right, I'm good. Fair enough. 33 kills for Zanteras. They might be in vain at this point. 2k per player. They have the CZ. At least they can get utility with the CZ at this point. That's the benefit of saving them, I guess, with the armor. So they can get some utility to go with it. They could go for UMPs if they really wanted to. Um, but uh, either way, it's not looking too good. Uh, Sprouts are firmly in the driving seat right now. As you can see, them looking quite calm. Innocent showing some uh, signs of frustration earlier. But as they home in on a victory, I'm sure it'll all be worth it. He did get bested by Zanteras a couple of times in the clutch situations. That's a chance to calm down here. Sprout want to guarantee map and the match points, so it will be them taking a timeout just to discuss what the play coming for Space Rogers could be. Are they going to stack towards B? Are they going to rush us? What, do we just go for a full-on fast play towards the A bomb side down mid-ramp? Something like that. Or would we go for a slow default, wait for to see what they're presenting? Any options here? And Dennis, in game leader. Yeah. I see him picking out that role. We'll see if it... As well as always, oh, it's, it's by a the fast way. middle area. By the looks of things, that's that's what I'd be calling right now. I think that's a good, a good call. Stick together as a five-man unit, knowing they've got pistols. They won't have a massive amount of snowball effect. So just get in there as a group, go for the trades, and then we'll go first. No smashing the desk, please, young man. As we go to round number 26, and potentially match point for Sprout. Yeah, interesting that you said, mentioned he's in-game leading again, Dennis, but also doing it while entry fragging. Mm -hmm. He's not the only one in the world doing that, but it's always a talking point. Crystal tries to get the shot through danger. Lots of vision couldn't play in. Instead, they'll be this important inside of the site. Has Zen alongside of him. They'll easily take down Paz, Major, Zontara is all in that order. Just Engine and Kallax on pistols and map points achieved, I would say, for Sprout. About the worst time to ever have a double eco situation. Not even attempting to go any further with it, so. Uh. It's definitely over, isn't it? There's a desperately trying to find another kill towards the B, B horse here. As Kallax will be boosted up towards drop down. I don't think he'll get much done here, though, I'm afraid. As he'll hold up with the CZ in hand. Round number 15 guaranteed now. That is indeed match point. As the bomb will go off any second now. It's up to Engine and Kallax to save the CZs. Money at about the 2k mile. They didn't actually spend any money for this round. They're opting to go for overtime. So, still possible. Um, it's going to be a lot of pressure on them, of course, so Engine and Kallax saving their armor is actually a big deal. That's going to save them some cash going to the next round. They can buy the M4s. Helmets not actually required um, on the CT side, obviously up against the AK-47s of the Orps. The helmet doesn't do too much for you, so you can focus more on the utility. Get some kits out. We'll see if that comes through, and uh, we'll go into potentially the last round here. Here we go, then no Orps on the CT side. You have to imagine Sprout as well will be reasonably pleased with a good start in the Major, but they'll also have their eyes and sights set upon Big, who were a project in their own right. Dennis has played with Bobby and Gia Tabson in the past. I take back that German number one, if you will. Major, good shot to Speedy. At least the start that Space Soldiers need for the last round if they want, or potential last round. I want to get toward that overtime. Spot another find. Major takes down Innocent. Gun air barrel sticking forward as he snuck in late as well, based on a flash. So they'd already pre cleared that with a Molotov, or rather, excuse me, with a nade, and then he got him behind it. Molotov goes in now. They pull back at least one kill. Well, Dennis, four versus three. What can you pull out of the hat here in terms of the tactical decision? In terms of utility, the CTs have one smoke remaining, two flashbangs. There is not much more. Two smokes for them, which one of which has been deployed. That's going to be going in towards the drop down area. Dennis will shoot there just to mask his footsteps as he gets in towards that drop down room. Looks like a B split could be happening. 
We have got Crystal with the AWP towards middle. He'll wall back and join his teammates towards the B site. Calyx here looks like he's requesting to find his kill, but Dennis says no. Cracking shot from him. Three on three, 40 seconds remaining. And Zantares, he is the king of the B bomb side, but the king has been slain, and it will be a three on two as Sprout somehow take the lead out of nowhere. It's found by Zen. It's all down to engine. Zantares was desperate to play the Hobbit hole, and a good shot from Zen, 16-11. Sprout's pleased with that, and rightfully so. They'll